Every year, especially in the summer months, the RSPCA receives many complaints about animals that have been left in locked cars, particularly in the summer months where the increased temperatures can result in terrible injuries to these animals. I've seen many, many cases of animals coming in in hot cars uh, in very degrees of um, distress. Uh, I've seen animals come in just frothing from the mouth and, and, and their temperature is elevated and I've seen animals come in already seizuring. It takes only minutes for your animal to begin suffering the effects of being left inside a locked car. They only sweat through their paws and, and through their mouth so they, they don't have the ability to lose temperature like we do. Even on an overcast day the temperatures can still rapidly rise within and opening windows or using sunshades has very little to no effect on reducing the temperature inside the car. Most owners don't do this on purpose. Um, they think that it's going to be a quick trip to the shops to get a coffee, to buy groceries or something to pick up the kids from childcare and they don't realise how hot it can get. Okay, so we've just pulled up here in the car park and we've had the air conditioning and the engine running on the car. We've closed the door but it is, it is a fairly overcast day but already as you can see the temperature is beginning to approach 45 degrees Celsius inside. Now, if in the event that you left your pet inside this vehicle it would be quite detrimental to their health at this point. In as little as five minutes, what we can see is panting, red gums, frothing at the mouth, and other signs of distress. Perhaps the animal trying to get out of the car, get away from the heat. In as little as 10 minutes, we can see the dog breathing up to 18 times faster than normal. Uh, and this is what the dog's trying to do to get rid of the heat out of his body. By 20 minutes, we can see the dog's temperature rising to the point where it can cause fatal internal injuries. If someone were to leave their dog in the car for let's say 40 minutes, what we would be seeing is signs of heat stroke, which include excessive salivation, vomiting, diarrhoea and disorientation, which can look like a drunken-like state. We've seen cases where dogs have come in and they've been left in the car for say up to an hour. And what we're seeing is animals that are coming in seizuring, they have internal organ failure. Um, and sometimes, even if the dog uh, is not displaying some of these symptoms, they can occur within one to two days uh, later. If it is found that a dog has died or suffered some form of permanent disability as a result of being left in a car, the owner can be prosecuted and fined up to $22,000 or face two years in jail. So if you should happen to come across an animal that's secured inside a car and you become concerned because of the symptoms that you've observed, you should uh, in the first instance contact the RSPCA uh, on 1300 Cruelty or your local police.